Welcome back to Taco Bowler Gaming. My name is Taco Bowler. We're continuing today our run playing as the Union in Grand Tactician The Civil War. And uh, in the last episode, we went to a grand total of two days. And I don't promise that this will be <laughs> any more days on the timeline, but I hope. Um, we'll see, I guess. But uh, this is what I'm talking about is that this is likely going to continue to happen here as... We face off more, and we have to face this because we've learned if we auto-resolve, even though we would win this, they can come reinforce and cause problems on that front. So we're going to battle it. All right. Another Battle of Richmond. Here we're going to be very, very, very quick in setting up. We have two victory points uh, worth a collective 10, so that's going to very quickly uh, move our victory meter. And we're up on a hill once again, uh, which is really good. Uh, I'm trying to learn from the last battle here. We're not going to have a uh, you know kind of wide line. We're going to create a kind of uh, something that we can can uh, can't really be flanked on as we're trying to learn these new things from the uh, enemy. I'm expecting that they're going to be coming down one of these roads. So uh, back behind here, I just have a breastwork that I can go um, if need be. Uh, it can be for uh, for some uh, artillery to fire out of, which doesn't wind up happening, or it can be uh, something that we can duck behind if they do get behind us. But hopefully they don't. Uh, hopefully they don't do that. But uh, yeah, so we're just going to set up here and, and kind of set up on this fort here and uh, work it out. Hopefully work it out here. And I ultimately decided to do this. We're going to set our artillery uh, up on the uh, parapet. We're going to set some of our reserve divisions right behind the, that artillery so that they can quickly run up there if uh, if that artillery gets charged. But that parapet's a level 3. So uh, the idea here is that the uh, level 3 parapet, the little stuff that's out there, will guard the artillery. And then um, the artillery can fire with nothing in front of it, a canister shot if they get really close. Uh, and again, we have that, that uh, few units of infantry ready to come in and... Uh, and help out if need be. Uh, so there we are. And uh, then I'm going to actually set these up to where uh, there's a signal order that can be taken uh, to uh, to advance those guys forward. And we'll go here. Uh, so the first message there was actually that the uh, reserve unit, the, the second unit, the unknown unit, uh, which winds up being led by Price, um, uh, is had arrived, but that's only 3,000 men, so it doesn't really matter. Uh, also, I'm setting up here a uh, move-on signal for the artillery to back up. Uh, that actually prevents them from firing. They're, they're marching, and they, they don't fire, so I have to ultimately... Uh, stop that when I notice that they aren't firing here. But here we have two that did uh, leave. Uh, oh, Beauregard, excuse me. Uh, Beauregard, not Price. Okay. And so uh, here we go. We're going to tell them all to attack. But we do still have the signal on, for a while, on the uh, the division leader. But ultimately that goes away but here we go we're, we're a little close here i'm, I'm going to go ahead and tell the uh, infantry on that one to come on up here as the uh skirmishers uh for the opponent do get in here and then the cavalry get really close to us uh, there's also some cavalry that's gotten inside our lines over here but uh, they're about to be uh, showered with bullets from the division that's on that side but here we go. Um, this is the, the one big moment of the battle that was problematic, where some of our units have left um, left the, the defenses and they've gone way forward. Um, I'm hoping that that one can fall back. This one I'm pretty sure won't be able to, but you know, just whatever it is. So yeah, we're just trying to get the, <laughs> them to safety, and I'm pretty sure that that far one out front is lost. Uh, I'm also... Uh, worried about how slow my computer is going it, it had been off all night um, so I don't know if something was loading in the background I should have all of those turned off or what was going on there um, but here in a moment we're going to cut um, and what had happened there was that I went out to see what was going and just going out and back in did help 
uh, for some reason. Again, it had very little of the, the computer that was listed as um, worth anything. But we just lost two artillery um, units right there. Uh, so we don't have very much artillery still firing. Uh, some of them kept their artillery units and they were able to keep firing, but one did leave the guns up here. So here I'm just grabbing some of the infantry nearby and hoping that they can send someone over to operate those artillery on the line. But uh, here we have the Confederates. They're going to try and march uphill into this incredibly strong defensive position, and that will not go well for them. Spoilers. <laughs> Spoiler alert. That really does not go well for them. Uh, really, really, really does not go well for them. Um, yeah uh we we will continue to get some uh some captives but mainly they they just they're charging up and and just getting shot right back down um we just you know they just lost an entire uh, uh division commander there um they're, they're gonna push up they're gonna keep trying and uh we just have more and more infantry coming in and uh, we have reserves you know we have a couple of reserve divisions at this point uh, that just aren't needed because these guys are doing just fine. <laughs> and uh, here they're going to be... Uh, we got the notification that they're retreating, but uh, there's a broken division back there. But you can already see the uh, the disparity in the uh, the casualties there. I think it was 5,500 to about 400. Uh, something along the lines of 11 or 12 to 1 uh, casualty ratio. Um, and based on future battles that happened in this play session, that was not a bug. That is literally what happened with that defensive positioning. Glorious, glorious, glorious victory at Richmond. 57-36 to 492. We captured 2,633 of their men. Of course, some of them have been paroled uh, because we're not paying for prison camps because we can't afford what we have right now anyway. But, man, uh, obviously a, a major victory was considered. 25% of their army gone. Um... And uh, the Army of Vermont still in good, good readiness. Okay, I'm back. Had a little thing there, so... The yeah, Army of Vermont's readiness is going down as they continue to fight these fights, but everyone else seems to be doing okay. Even the Army of Kentucky is getting better. Now, can we go more than two days, please? The Confederacy impressing supplies and slaves. Slaves to free whites to fight. Support among slaveholders plummets. Confederacy is uh, struggling a little bit to fill their coffers. All right. I don't know what that does, but I think we're still on British intervention where we are. Fort Helm garrison provisions. And there it is, the Cinco de Mayo, the French repulsed, the Battle of Puebla, a Mexican victory, the Battle of Cinco de Mayo. General Lorenz is in retreat. This is true, that happened at this time, and uh, arguably, I argue, that... Uh, that could have really mattered. All right, so we're we sent them down to Knoxville. We're going to try and take that. That should help. That should help things. The army of Shenandoah is down here. Well, when they're done, they can push them off. All right. Um, do we just go for Chattanooga with the railroad, or do we go for Nashville? I don't know. These armies appear to not be moving at all anymore. Yeah, we, we just we can't get them to move. Oh no, they they do have orders still. They do have orders still. We're good. And there they go. 
they are finally moving toward Little Rock, which unfortunately means that these guys are going to move toward Carol. But that is what it is. Okay, we have uh, done something with bonds. We are still issuing bonds, which is not great. Uh, the enemy army of Western Louisiana seems to have withdrawn. Uh, good. From whom? And the only real ones that seem to be doing anything are here, right? I'm still very concerned about supplies happening here. Is this annual? Per year, yeah, okay. Because these guys appear to still be losing supply. I'm going to try and put the general in between here so that they can hopefully reinforce each other. Um, because we've got a lot of men right here. Gonna try and force an engagement. Can we do anything about it? I think the answer to that's probably no, although the Army of Missouri and Army of Oklahoma, so they're good. I'm not. They are. All right, let's do something. Just want to check and make sure that the Army of Missouri has a uh, the ability to go down the river, they are. So they're going to straight down the river. They're going to put pressure on Memphis. That's the idea. There's the Army of Western Louisiana. That's who they were retreating from. Good. So we're going to try and wind up with supplies going straight down this river. And then they're going to take Little Rock, hopefully build a fort. And then we're just going to keep going down. Uh, we still have a couple of financial policies going in place. There's 17 days to the Revenue Act, and then we're going to issue war bonds, which will help our our credit. But the Confederacy remains um, way too strong for my liking. We have issued bonds again. We're up to 1.2 billion. Mississippi rifles. We just got 5,000 more. I think we have to continue ordering uh, guns. Uh, 10,000 of the Mississippis. Uh, 5,000 of the Springfields. We, we don't really have a choice on that one. We really kind of have to keep going. So here, um, we need the Ohio because they're the ones facing the massive, uh, massive numbers of troops. Then we'll grab Pennsylvania. And then finally go back to the west. As much as it's me and I like that, um, it's still the least important uh, army that we have. Kentucky needs to get down here. Alright, I think we've built the fort at Richmond, have we? Succeeded in that? No, not quite yet. Uh, 
Um, Department of Pennsylvania, they're almost ready. The Army of New Jersey is uh, still building itself back up, but we're, we got our supply situation a little bit better under control. Um, it's only three, and one of them is uh, Fort Helm, which I guess is, is where. Fort Helm is in St. Louis. Why would you have no supply? Uh, that one I do not get, but whatever. Yeah, they, they got supplies. Don't worry about them. Alright, that will produce the fall of Memphis. And why are you not moving... You're supposed to be heading to Little Rock. You need to be moving before these guys fall on you. Strawberry Bridge Plains Depot is constructed and the fort at Richmond is constructed. Good. Now, uh, now we decide what we're going to do. We have a lot of people up here. We have the Army of the Valley, 18,000. Army of the Peninsula, 9,500. South Carolina State Militia, 12,000. And the Army of Northern Virginia, 15,000. Department of Pennsylvania should be able to deal with them. And hopefully some of them wind up going down to Richmond. And I'm going to actually just transfer a couple of the units out of the Army of the East. I don't need um, I just don't need as many guns as I put in that army. So I'm going to transfer one out of each core. Because I can't ever find a way to use them that well. Eh, I, I, there's only three in that one anyway. We'll recruit a new uh, new unit. Um, get it somewhere close. District of Columbia is as close as we're going to get. So we'll do there. And frankly, this one probably should grab a a uh, army as well. Let's go Connecticut. The full three thousand. Okay. So the question becomes whether we try and go for Lynchburg. That would cut off some of their supply. Because we would have all of this kind of owned except for what they are foraging from. That could be a really good move. The other good move would be to head down and go for Raleigh and this fort and try and just continue the conquest of the coastline. I think because we took Winchester, that's a good move. Let's go for Lynchburg. Uh, we need to move the Army of Vermont. And we keep getting garrison. Uh, you need rivers. There we go. There we go. And with that, we should be able to just move everybody over to Lynchburg. Shouldn't have too much problems. 
I hope. Oh good, we can assign a perk. Let's get the ambulance for you. And have we taken Memphis yet? We have. So this is all, uh, all where they're at. They should be having to retreat down. Which is exactly what we want. So from here you would go to Corinth. And the question is whether I want to actually do that right now. Because uh, we need Corinth and Granada to secure this general area. But actually, Granada might be uh, better here. Or do we need to build a fort in Memphis? We might need to build a fort in Memphis just so we can secure the Mississippi before heading for Vicksburg would be the ultimate target. We don't have the money to build a fort. What's in this army over here? It's only 8,000. I am going to risk this and split them. You need to get your readiness up. Get your readiness up something fierce. Okay. And this front line is... This is a huge deal right here. Uh, if we can secure that Cumberland Gap, how close are we on railroad construction here. We actually have Little Rock to Memphis that we can build as well. 24%. Only a quarter of the way. Someone's at their destination. It's Nelson is at their destination. As long as that's not the Army of Iowa. It's not. Okay. So, um, we're going to be outnumbered uh, 23,000, 25,000 to 1 until uh, the Army of Maine and the Army of New York show up, but that shouldn't be an issue. We're going to play this battle. Okay, the Battle of Burkeville. Uh, the first time I've had an offensive battle in quite a while. Uh, certainly the first time I've had an offensive battle in 1.09. I wonder if that plays into things uh, or not. They're, they're supposed to think differently in 1.09, uh, and I certainly was uh, surprised by how uh, the AI would think in this battle. Uh, we do uh, detach the artillery, um, kind of noticing that uh, we do have the, the commander separated from the rest of the uh, from their actual armies which is a little bit I, I, I don't know that I like that um, but we have uh, set up here the the uh, victory point is way up north I hope you saw it there and so um, here we're gonna try and limber the uh, artillery uh, but basically there's two roads that we can go down so I have two armies and I'm thinking I will just go down those two roads and kind of come in and uh, hopefully we can just kind of wait and maybe the the army of Vermont will uh, swing in uh, here at the end of the day or something like that um, and uh, just kind of uh, we'll, we'll collect up together and go that's really what I'm hoping for is that we'll we'll all come together and uh, and make it work um, I don't know if you saw it there, but you very briefly maybe could have seen as the uh, as Moop Moop was was heading by uh, where the Confederates are, and they will surprise me a little bit. Um, this is the Appomattox Church House or Appomattox Courthouse, excuse me, um, battlefield, uh, and so this is where the Civil War actually ended uh, in this general area, uh, in a general area of the map, and and uh, so it's good to have a battle here as the Civil War is winding down. Um, we're, we're definitely winning and pressing and uh, certainly have momentum. Um, you know, they, they've still got enough morale. It's not going to be over today, but uh, I do like that we're 
fighting in Appomattox Church, Church House. Um, and spoiler, we're going to fight really close to Appomattox Church House, in spite of the fact that the victory point is way up there. So here's the, the first thing I'm noticing here. Is that we're, we're just um, going through all of our units, uh, because one of them could get a, uh, a perk. You can get a perk on down to the individual brigade. You can get a perk on divisions. You can get a perk on you know a whole bunch of stuff. Uh, it doesn't have to be just the army. So there they are. You can notice there. And on top of it, they have defensive positions there. Um, now those defensive positions appear to be uh, facing the west for some reason. I really don't know why they thought I would be there. Um, but uh, so we have uh, all that situated. Um, we did have the artillery that was planning on going up the road. So all the artillery is over here on the west where they are. Um, so we're just going to try and line up the Army of New York and kind of keep them there. And then I think, oh, we'll move the Army of Maine up to take the victory point. And oh, there's more. There, there's an entire other Confederate army up there. So we literally have in this battle here now two battles, um, one army against one army twice. Uh, we have the Army of New York facing off against uh, what I suspect is Hampton's division. And then we have uh, another army over here, the Army of Maine, facing off against another army. And uh, the Army of New York is able to get set up. The Army of Maine definitely does not here. And uh, this becomes a, a issue as we begin the fight over there. Those two armies clashing very quickly. The Army of New York able to be a little bit more organized with things as they charge in, but still um, mattering here as we've got these... Uh, three divisions that are going, and we'll try and bring the artillery up to support. But uh, yeah, the Army of Maine is is no cohesion as it's trying to fight over there on the on the east, on the right side. And uh, you can see some uh, some melee has happened here. It broke both uh, both brigades. Uh, we have a minor defeat happening. We outnumber them by ten thousand men, but we have a minor defeat happening here. You can see that we're we're blocked. Some of our units are blocked. We have all sorts of problems uh, that are happening here. We have a unit that's flanked, um, another unit with routing nearby, just all sorts of, of things that are happening, but we're also, you know, impacting them. They should have something routing nearby. They should have their own problems. Um, here goes another unit as I'm focused in on, on the uh, Army of Maine that things are starting to break apart. Uh, spoiler alert! The heroic, the, the most heroic people in the battle will wind up being from the Army of Maine. Uh, the ones that, that wind up, uh, you know, uh, doing the most, uh, yeah, heroic. Heroic is the is the right word for them. Um, winds up being from the Army of Maine, and we'll, we'll show that here in a moment. Um, but the Army of Maine uh, never really has. Yeah, that, that is a problem. When, when, when they crash into us and... and uh, that's when we, we have lost uh, the most men and lost the uh, biggest uh, upsets in the past. So, uh, yeah, there we go with all that. Uh, we have an entire division here that's that's able to now, that has gotten on the, uh, on the Confederate flank. We split them up into two. Um, we've kind of broken their line. So as much of a problem that the Army of Maine is in, their our army here, this facing off against the Army of New York, is in as much of a problem. And the uh, casualties are, are evening out. Um, but yeah, this is a major problem for the Confederates here, uh, over here by uh, by the actual uh, courthouse. Now, they've already lost that artillery, you can see there. Um, and the Army of Maine is going to retreat down here, and at this point I'm just preparing to wind up having the Army of New York face, you know, having the two victors face off. And so uh, I'm preparing to kind of try and hold them off at that fence line right there uh, on top of Connor. I'm assuming Connor's farm. And eventually I'll put one of my two uh, artilleries to prepare for that. Um, because we're down to like, what, two, maybe three uh, divisions here. One brigade in each division uh, in the Army of Maine. Um, that, that becomes important uh, here in a moment. Uh, but they're 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 uh, shooting it out in the woods over there uh, as we try and get uh, the the second division to continue to press their advantage and maybe uh, really force that army from the battle. So here we go. Um, just to quickly point out here, uh, I'm trying to put some skirmishers out to get them to retreat, but they don't. 
We have one on one, these two uh, brigades from one from each division fighting off uh, and holding that that uh, what's left of the other army in place there uh, in the woods. Uh, they're just trying to hold for as long as they can and allow the army of New York to finish mopping up and uh, prepare for a counterattack or uh, to at least make through to the night because um, it's not too long till the night and the army of Vermont is supposed to be here overnight. Of course, we've heard that before, <laughs> but the army of Vermont is supposed to be here overnight, so. You know, let, let's try and do that. Just hold on. That's all we're, we're trying to do here. And so the Army of New York, you know, trying to press its advantage and uh, really push uh, to, uh, to get all that uh, done here. And here I go over and I'm expecting to see the Army of Maine breaking, but nope, they're still there. They're firing out in the woods. They're still there. You can see here 4,000 to 3,500 already uh, in casualties. Uh, just just you know amazing casualty numbers huge casualty numbers but we're into a minor victory range um which is good and it's pretty clear that vermont's gonna be overnight again we've heard that before <laughs> i'm getting flashbacks here <laughs> to desperately holding on to the army of new york here but there we get a killed in action and that is the commander of the second division in the Army of Maine. I'm just remembering right now I need to go fix this. Uh, the commander of the Army of, of Maine's 2nd Division has been killed in action there, Speed S. Fry. Um, so that one brigade now has a division commander who's not there, but I tell them to rally anyway. Whoever's taking over, rally. Uh, I even will eventually put the Army commander to rally, just trying to get these units to hold hold their get to overnight. That's what I'm, I'm desperately hoping for. We do see one of our units breaking and one of our brigades breaking there in the Army of New York, but the rest of them are holding steady. And importantly, some of the Army of Maine divisions have rallied and steadied there behind the Army of New York. Um, so that winds up being an interesting thing that I notice and uh, point out. Now the commander of the 1st Division. Which I'm sitting here like, who, where, who, what, where, when, I, where? No, that's not it, that's not it. Where is this? Um, I think, uh, was it King? there or was it another one but someone has been wounded um the the uh, other division commander in the army of maine i think i ultimately find it here will wind up being wounded so both the uh, division commanders um over in the army of maine wind up wounded trying to rally these two units to hold their position because they're holding the entire army the entire army cannot move and come down to reinforce against the army of new york because they're still worried about what's going on over there and worried about the victory point because they can't leave those two units to go take the victory point. Um, heroic, heroic stuff. They they, they save the day. Um, okay, here's another wounded in action. Here's King. So here Colonel King has been wounded. Um, he's one of the uh, uh, brigade commanders within the Army of New York. Um, and uh, I, I don't find his unit immediately. Um, it is there. You can see it there. Uh, but I think for a minute that it had been uh, completely captured. But uh, we'll see. We shall see. But yeah, I, I kind of like, oh, I thought he was whipped, but nope. I mean, you can see that the numbers are continuing to grow as this is uh, the bloodiest battle I have experienced in this game. Um, it certainly holds nothing to some of the battles that happened in 1863 or 1864 in real life. But uh, yeah, this is a uh, incredible, incredible fight. Um, I think we wind up with like 25% of the forces they bring in are destroyed. But importantly, because we had all those reinforcements, it's not really for us uh, that high of a percentage. But here we've, we've successfully been able to consolidate against uh, that unit there, and there it is, victory. And this is the end of the episode. I do hope that you have enjoyed, uh, as we see, 8,500 to 7,500 goodness.